Hey everyone. Well, I'm going to start a new little project that I've kind of always wanted to do there for the last couple of years and never got around to getting one. It's a, uh, a peanut scale tiger moth. Uh, it's from uh, Dumas Aircraft. As you can see, it's uh, precision laser cut parts. Comes with the plans and everything, so I'm just going to open it up here and uh, have a look. I'm going to take some pictures as I go along, and uh, it's the first time ever building a, a kit, so it should be interesting laying it out on the plans and stuff. So they also offer Mr. Mulligan, Cub, Stinson, Voyager, T38 Mentor, and this last one, which I can't pronounce. <laughs> so, it's a Libra or something. So anyways, it's all laser cut. And we'll see what goes in the bag. This is like $25 or so. I'm planning to uh, use the uh, stuff from my foresight, which is now in a scratch built uh, uh, S box that I made for the in indoor winter flying. So, probably going to put a motor on this and uh, get a small receiver <coughs> and uh, make a remote control and see. It's covered with tissue paper comes with it. So this is the plans. I uh, briefly looked at it beforehand and uh, um, so it's pretty straightforward. Comes with these cool, cool uh, detailed uh, instructions and everything is numbered with R1 and so on. A2 and so everything is numbered. One half of the plans. I already cut the plans in half. It just gives you a uh, just tells you a, a core data line where you can uh, cut the plans in half to make it smaller. So that's one part of it. The other half of the uh, plan <coughs> has the instructions and uh, a parts list. So it shows you all the parts and the number corresponding to that part. So yeah, for the plans, what I'm going to use is a, uh, I picked up a, uh, a cork board at Walmart for like 10 bucks, and uh, do, I'm just going to do a section at a time, like the one wing. You have to do four wings, right? Two for the top each side, and uh, for the bottom and then you glue it together from what I gather. So yeah, just going to use little pins, you lay your plan down, put wax paper over that and tack it all together, either tape or whatever and uh, when you use, use your glue, the wax paper uh, stops it from uh, gluing to your the actual plan. So it's just like a protector. So. Come the balsa strips. I grabbed the. Uh, they all come loose, but I went through them all and just put a little rubber band on each size. There's three different sizes. So that's just to help keep it neater. Piece of music wire. I think that's for the landing gear. And so yeah, vacuum vacuum thing there. Uh, cow and I guess this is the intake or something you have to cut it out and paint it I guess comes with that comes with uh, your prop wheels uh, elastic band because this is actually a rubber band power designed to be so here's some templates it comes with just to show you the uh, the angle of your uh, wing struts I guess so you go by that Fuselage patterns, so I gotta look into that. And it comes with clear, this is for the canopy, I do believe. Decal sheet. I think they're, uh, they're slide, water slide decals. It's the tissue paper for the fuselage and wings. And this is our parts. So 
it just shows you what they are. It's actually not numbered on this. You go back to the plan and uh, it shows you exactly where A1 is So on the, on the paper. Obviously this is the wing, wing roots. It's all laser cut so you just have to just trim it with a, with a, a blade or whatnot and uh, give them a little sand and glue them together. And I think that is it. Yeah, that's it. So, I'll, uh, as I was saying, I'll take some pictures as I go. Maybe a little video, but uh, it's pretty much going to be a, just a picture slideshow. So, it might take a little while to do this. So I've never done it before, and it's just a little project I'm going to mess around with. So, Stay tuned for some pictures and wish me luck.